Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I wanted to cover what stagflation is, why it's important, how it's going to impact you, and what you need to know about it. All right, so stagflation is essentially something that occurs when we have inflation going up, the economy contracting, and you have unemployment rising. And here's why it's kind of like damaging and can definitely, uh, definitely lead to problems. Because typically, when you have an economy that is not going well, not strong, you have unemployment uh, going high, what people, what the federal government does is they do one quantitative easing, basically they buy assets, hold them on the balance sheet to put more money in the markets, and two, they lower interest rates, all right? But the government really can't do that right now. They can't, they can't do that because they printed a ton of money in the last two or three years and inflation is, is soaring. So what they have to do is the actual opposite, which is going to hurt the economy. They have to raise interest rates, right? And that's something that you're seeing now. So you're seeing them raise interest rates. You're seeing the economy um, get more stressed and essentially prices on everything going up. Okay, but now we're starting to see weakness in the real estate market. Uh, obviously, the stock market, uh, crypto, all those markets are taking an absolute beating. So what are some of the things that you really can do? And this is super important, especially if you own a business. Uh, one, only focus on what you can actually control. Okay, a lot of people get stressed out with everything going on. That's to be expected. Like, you know. You, but you can only focus on what you can control. You can't control what the government's doing, okay? You can control who you vote for in November, that's important, uh, but you can't control what the government's doing. You can't really control what the economy's doing. You can only focus on yourself, focus on your business, your team, your family, your fitness, your, your mental health. So one, focus on those things, because that's gonna be super important, all right? And then two, make sure that your credit's strong, both your personal credit, your business credit, and your finances are stable, meaning you have enough savings, okay? And these are the times that create massive opportunities, right? Because when things get hard, people usually contract, they go on a shell, they're not doing what made them successful in the first place. This is actually a time to double and triple down, all right? If you own a business and your credit's solid, this is a time to open up that line of credit. You know, if you're not happy at your job, this is that time to look into maybe starting a, a your own business, all right? This is a massive opportunity, all right? And if you own your own business, you have all that stuff set up, everything's taken care of, great. What I would do then is focus on, well, how can I expand? How can I help my clients? How can I deliver or add more value, right? So how can you take market share? Uh, one of the things that I've been doing is I've been checking in on clients. Right? Hey, how you doing? How's business? How's everything going? How's the family? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people get lost in uh, a very transactional pace with their business. And the truth is, the more you reach out to people, the more you develop those relationships, the stronger your network's gonna be, the, you know, the, the more essentially value you're going to add. Because a lot of people don't do that. It's really easy to stand out in the culture we have today just by going above and beyond and going and, and that extra mile, all right? So what I want you guys to do is understand what's happening what's gonna happen over the next call it 12 to 24 months. I still like hard assets. I think the uh, hard assets like real estate, it's gonna start to come down uh, and there's gonna be massive opportunities, okay? Same thing with uh, the stock market, same thing with uh, crypto. If on a personal level, if you guys want a dollar cost average in, that'll set you guys up for success long-term. I do expect uh, you know, definitely more bumps in the road. I'm starting to see lenders tighten up. Uh, some lenders are tightening up, some are loosening up, depending on what type of program it is. Like term loans are getting a little bit tighter. SBA is getting a little bit looser, which is good. Uh, it's, you know, if you have a company, you want to be well capitalized, focus on what you can focus on, just to recap, and try to gain market share by being as valuable to your clients as humanly possible. These are all things that are going to help you and the, comp and the companies that make it out of this, the people that make it out of this are gonna be way stronger 
and they're gonna you have a chance to become like a household name right because in these times most people go with you know everybody else and kind of shrink up this is going to be a massive opportunity for growth for expansion and and ultimately for you so view it like that and focus on what you can focus on and you will come out of it ahead and if you ever need my help with anything please reach out i'm trying to do more of these to kind of let you guys know what's going on i have a background in economics believe it or not um so that and the finance thing kind of work all right i hope you guys are having a great day kicking ass and if you need me i'm here